Well, 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 look who's here. Well, 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 look who's here. Thank you. It's not that I'd like to. I want you to carry this bag. Come on. I'm sorry for that if you don't like it. Sorry. Hello, everyone. How have you been? Today, we are going to talk about the 73855 rule of communication. Now, what's it? Albert Mehrabian, a psychology professor at the University of California, formulated this 73855 rule of communication in his secret messages. Now, tell me something. When we talk about effective communication skills, what are the vital elements we must focus upon? First, words. Words. It's only words and words are all I have to take your heart away. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, so first is verbal language. Okay, second, the tone of your voice. Voice modulation, your pitch, the pauses, stresses. Okay, all of that. Third, body language, eye contact, your posture, your gestures, okay, your hand movement. According to Albert Mehrabian, 7% of communication is done through words, just 7%. Now, those who are crazy about words, logophiles like me, or those who find themselves lost in the maze of words, or those who use jargons and highfalutin words, they might be thinking, just 7%? Is it for real? I mean, just 7%? Yes, according to Albert Mehrabian, 7% of communication is done through words, verbal language, just 7%. 38% of our communication is done through the tone of our voice, pitch, rhythm, stresses, pauses. Let's read this sentence, okay, together. You can pause and you can repeat. In this sentence, I'm going to stress upon different words and you will see how the meaning changes, okay, with each stress on different words. The meaning of this sentence will change. Ready? Let's begin. I want you to carry this bag. I want you to carry this bag. In this sentence, I have not stressed upon any particular word. Now, let's begin. Okay? All right. Now, first stress, I. I want you to carry this bag. Not anyone else. I want you to do that. I. Next, I want you to carry this bag. It's not that I'd like to. I want you to carry this bag. Come on. I want you to carry this bag. Nobody else but you. I want you to carry this bag. Next, I want you to carry this bag. Action word, carry. Don't do anything else with this bag. I want you to carry this back okay next i want you to carry this bag not that bag or the other bags this particular bag so i want you to carry this bag how is it going so far enjoying all right next one i want you to carry this bag there are other items here okay not this bottle not this laptop just this bag so I want you to carry this bag. How was it? So did you see with each stress upon diff sorry, did you see with each stress the meaning changed? Okay, so try, try this. Okay, you can pause the video or watch it again or write it down somewhere and practice. That matters. Now, what about this 55%? According to Albert Mehrabian, 55% of communication is done through body language. What's body language? Eye contact, posture, gesture, hand movement, body movement, all of that. Okay, that's your body language. Let's look at some examples now. I have noted down a few for you. First one, thank you. Now, notice, thank you. Genuine, right? 
But when I say thank you or thank you, genuine? No. Body language. I just shrugged my shoulder a little. You know, like that. Um, facial expression changed. So the meaning changed. The words didn't change. The words remained the same. The body language changed. And with the body language, the meaning changed. Do you see the connection? Let's pick up the second one. Sorry. Sorry is all that you can say. I don't know why, but with each word, I feel like singing when I come across a word and instantly I am reminded of a song. I don't know why this happens, but I'm sorry for that if you don't like it. Okay, you can fast forward my video if you don't like it. Okay, now, sorry. If I say, sorry, genuine, if I say, sorry, or sorry, do you see that? Genuine? No. Word, same. Sorry. But different body language. Okay, different expressions. Right? So the meaning changes. Now, it's a long one. Okay, I've written this down for you. Okay, and you're going to practice this. The words are, well, well, well. Look who's here. Well, 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 look who's here. Now, pause this video and try to put in some expression, different body language. Try to say this in different styles. Try that. Okay, now, suppose someone pays a surprise visit to you. You can say, well, 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 look who's here. You're excited to see that person. Okay, so look, oh my God, who's here? Now, if someone enters your room in your absence, pulling your drawers, opening your cupboards, and you catch that person red-handed, how would you say these words? Well, 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 look who's here. I caught you red-handed. You see that? So, well, 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 look who's here. And well, 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 look who's here. Do you see the change? So body language plays major role in communication skills. However, there are people who do not agree to this 738.55 rule. Why? I'll tell you. Now think about phone calls. Do we see the body language of the person, of the speaker? No. We hear the words and the tone of their voice, right? Tone of the voice, their pitch, the way they are speaking. And when it comes to emails or messages, do we get to see the writer or the sender? No. Do we get to hear them? No. Then? So in my opinion, if you ask me, I feel words play a vital role when it comes to communication skills because in email writing especially when you're writing business emails you have to choose the correct words you have to be mindful the words you are choosing okay because they communicate your expression your feelings okay because the recipient cannot see you the recipient cannot hear you your words then take the front seat Okay, so words are important in my opinion. So the 73855 rule is not applicable everywhere when it comes to phone calls. No. When it comes to email writing or message writing. No. We cannot apply this rule there. It's extremely important for negotiators, for people with business proposals or those who want to crack a deal, especially when you have to use your elevator pitch, okay, elevator pitch. Otherwise, I don't think we can apply 738.55 rule everywhere. No, what's your opinion? Please share. In a nutshell, nonverbal communication must support verbal communication. What you're saying, your body language and the tone of your voice must support that, must complement that to get the desired outcome. Okay, so they have to walk hand in hand. 
all right now here's one sentence for you practice that at home okay ready all right sam is not well he will stay sam is not well he'll stay now he will or he'll it's a contracted form say okay so sam is not well he'll stay do you want me to give different situations all right now sam is your younger brother okay and you don't want him to go to a party all right first he's not well he's under the weather for real so you see this out of concern okay now he's your younger brother you are upset with him and you don't want him to go anywhere so then you see these words again so first your concern second your upset how would you say that i hope you enjoy this activity you can use the other sentences or words that i have used in this video and many more you can come up with your own sentences use this activity practice this with your friends and family and enjoy you'll see the fun remember words our body language our tone all of these together express our feelings and emotions different feelings and emotions all right so please be selective please be mindful and make sure you don't end up hurting anyone so keep learning stay blessed stay safe